Tonight, an emotional Congressman Keith Ellison is speaking out about the Me Too allegations against him. He spoke to us just hours after a decisive primary win. In a WCCO exclusive, Ellison sat down with Esme Murphy to deny the allegations against him. Just two and a half days before the primary election, Congressman Keith Ellison's former girlfriend's son posted allegations on Facebook that the congressman had abused his mother and that he had seen a video of the congressman dragging her off a bed by her feet. Did you ever abuse her in any way? No. Physically, emotionally? No. Did you ever drag her off a bed by her feet? No, absolutely not. She has said and insists that there is a video of this. Is there a video? There couldn't be. There couldn't be such a thing as that. And why couldn't there be? Because I never did that. It simply didn't happen. Karen Monahan told Minnesota Public Radio she was not going to release the video. It is humiliating. It is traumatizing for everyone's family involved. And for me. Later, Monahan told CNN that she had lost the tape in a storage locker. Ellison says while the couple broke up in 2016, she recently called him when she ran out of gas. In late May, she called me and told me she was stranded on the highway and needed gasoline, and I, I got gasoline and got it to her. He says he has no idea why Monahan would make the claims she has. What would you say to her right now? Because she's speaking out and continues to speak out on. Twitter and, and social media. I'd say, look, we loved each other. We don't have to destroy each other. It's obviously very emotional for you. Is that what you think she's trying to do? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to speculate. On motive, I don't know. I've asked myself many times why. But uh, I'm not going to try to speculate on motive. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. WCCO reached out to Karen Monahan today and has not heard back. There have been reports on social media of a 2005 assault allegation surrounding a second woman. Ellison says the allegations are false and provided WCCO with court documents which show the judge agreeing with Ellison. For now, the congressman says he wants to move on and focus on his campaign for Minnesota Attorney General.